hello welcome to my channel in this video uh, the question is uh, explain depth search depth for search with the help of algorithm also tell the time complexity of df dfs this question came in june 2020 exam so let's discuss about this question what is depth for search Depth first search is an algorithm for traversing or searching tree or graph data structure. The algorithm starts at the root node, selecting some arbitrary node as a root node in the case of graph, and explore as far as possible along with each uh, branch before backtracking. So let's see with the, the help of example. So here is a, a graph. Um, so zero is the source vertex. It's come to here one, and then two, and four, five, and six. Then backtrack and goes to seven. And after that eight, nine, and backtracking is there two, ten, eleven. So this is all a def first search. Where it where it, it uh, goes to all nodes and then back by backtracking it checks is there any node left unvisited. So that's why it's called def first search. So it's basically uses a stack, push it to the stack and the neighbors of the vertex currently being processed and pop the vertex repeat until the stack is not empty. The strategy adopted in depth first search is to search deeper whenever possible. This algorithm repeatedly searches deeper by visiting unvisited vertices and whenever an unvisited vertex is not found, it backtracks to previous vertex as seen in this, in this, in this picture. So, backtracks to previous vertex to find out whether there are still unvisited vertex. As seen in the search defined above is inherently recursive. We can find a very simple recursive procedure to visit the vertices in a graph, depth first search. The depth first search is more or less similar to pre-order traversal. The process can be described as below. For example, start from any vertex source in the graph MAC and find the vertex that is adjacent to the vertex. So uh, zero, uh, 0 adjacent vertex is 1. Then find vertex adjacent to source and not previously visited or it's not previously visited. So that's why it, this uh, whole pick is showing the correct way and visiting assigning adjacent vertex and mark it visited. So we use here adjacency, adjacency matrix and mark it visited. Repeat this process for all vertices. And that is not visited. If a vertex is uh, found visited in this process, then return to the previous step and start from the procedure from there. If returning back to source is not possible, then DFS from the originally selected source is complete and start DFS using unvisited vertex. Start with S and mark it visited. Then I visit the next vertex A, then C and then D. So here is a 0, 1, 2, 3. Or we can name it A, B, C also. So all this is. So let's discuss about the algorithm. What is the algorithm of it? Select a vertex in the graph and make it the source vertex and mark it visited. Step 1. And step to find a vertex that is adjacent to the source vertex and start a new search if it is not already visited. Step 3. Repeat the step 2 using new source vertex when all ad adjacent vertices are visited. Return to previous source and continue search from there. So this is the algorithm of uh, DFS. So if uh, I'm we talk about is complexity is here if n is not uh, is the number of vertices in the graph and the graph is represented by an adjacent matrix then the total time taken to perform dfs is 0 and square if g is represented by an adjacent list the number of g and c are then the time taken to dfs is 0 and Okay, so this 
so that's solve for this question so let's talk about the bfs and dfs difference between the bfs and dfs bfs stands for first go to the definition of bfs bfs stands for breadth first search is a vertex based technique for finding a shortest path in a graph it uses q data structure but in dfs we use stack data structure and q data structure which follows first time first first in first out in bfs one vertex is selected at a time when it is visited and marked then it is adjacent or visited and stored in the queue but dfs in dfs stored in a stack so let's see the difference here is the both templates it's a bfs and it's a dfs so you can see the difference here 0 1 2 and these are all okay so it makes a cycle so that there, there is a, uh, there from x to w there is no path in bfs or oh, it's a dfs so let's go the bfs stands for breadth first search and dfs stands for depth first search bfs uh, uses q data structure for finding the shortest part dfs search uses stack data structure bfs is better when target is closer to the source and dfs is better when the target is far from the source as bfs considers all neighbors so it is not suitable for decision tree used in puzzle game dfs is more suitable for decision tree each branch before backtracking so comparing bfs dfs the big advantage of dfs is that it has much lower memory requirement than bfs because it's not necessary to store all of the child pointers at each level so then a bfs usually be faster than dfs so the advantages either vary depending on the data what you are looking for for complete perfect tree dfs takes a linear amount of space with respect to the depth of the tree whereas bfs takes an exponential amount of space with respect to the depth of the tree this is because for bfs the maximum number of nodes in the queue is proportional to the number of nodes in one level of the tree so Thanks for watching.